Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, last week I made this CBN grinder and uh, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, CBN is ideal for high speed steel, uh, hardened steel, high carbon steel. It is not for mild steel and it is not for carbide. But it, it works fantastic for high speed steel and uh, it's fast cutting and the tool stays cool while you're while you're grinding it. Uh, later on in the video when I grind this tool you'll notice I cooled the tool probably four times. Uh, on a standard grinding wheel you'd probably cool it off 20 times in the water just to keep the tool cool. Uh, let's take a look at this grinder again. I uh, ordered a belt and it came in. Almost ordered it too short. Notice the pulleys are almost touching. Uh, Right here I put spacers underneath it. Uh, the belt's just the perfect tension. Uh, I've got a spacer and a washer so after the belt wears I can take the washer out. I like keeping it simple. That, that was the easiest way to do it and a, a, a belt that short is not going to stretch much. It might wear a little bit but uh, I don't think it's going to be terribly inconvenient to adjust the tension later on. This is a jig we're going to build today. It slides on the table. And the table is set at 15 degrees, which sets the angle. This is a carbide tipped one that, that I had, but just for demonstration, it sets the angle. Uh, and this jig sets the angle the other way. So anyway, let's get on with it. Build this, build this jig. Okay, a triangle like this used for drafting. Is also uh, 30 degrees just like a threading tool. So I'm going to cut a piece of wood a little bit smaller than this to use as a guide. Okay, originally I was going to use aluminum, had an aluminum block here, and set up my mill and cut a couple of slots in there. But wood will work just as well, and it's easy to machine. I got a couple of, cut a couple of slots in there to fit the high speed steel. And then I'm going to glue a ledge on the back of that where it is guided by the edge of the table. Okay, I got a 3 8 bit here set up to go about a third of the way through this piece of half inch. Actually, that's 5 8 inch, I think. Anyway, just whatever you got on hand. And I got the little triangle piece in here to use as a, uh, a guide to hold it at the right angle. It's going to be kind of tedious here. Hopefully, I don't lose a finger doing this. I got a little foam block here that's pretty handy for holding stuff. We're going to give it a try. Didn't work. <laughs> what I'm going to have to do is figure out a way to hold this from sliding. Okay, there we go. Let's try it again. Okay, I got my piece of high speed steel here. It's right in there.
Okay, there it is. Let's give this thing a try. It's going to be a lot of grinding, uh, but it should go a lot quicker with this than, uh, than it would with a standard grinding wheel. So let's get started. ground that off. That's quite a bit. It's hot, but nowhere near as hot as it would be with a standard grinding wheel. Okay, I've ground just a little past center there. Now we're ready to start on the other side. it in some water. We're getting there. I could grind that a little off center if I wanted to get close to the tail stock when I was threading. I think I will do that. Okay, that's to a perfect point right there, at least on the very top it is. Next step is to grind a top rake. Okay, there's my top rake. I don't know what angle that is, it's not extremely critical, that's probably a little bit extreme. Uh, this angle here is 15 degrees I think, I have to look it up, that's what this table set at. That's basically done, except I'm going to take it and hone it on the diamond stone over there and then it'll be ready to use. This probably isn't necessary. Of course, the sharper the better. Now the one thing they do recommend is to blunt that tip very slightly. They say that, uh, and, and I don't know from experience because I've uh, use mostly carbide, but they say if you blunt the tip of that a little bit, the very tip won't break off when you're cutting threads. I'm just honing the very tip of that at that angle right there. That'll round the tip of that just a little bit. Feels good and sharp. Give it a try. Okay, let's cut some thread.
Okay, right there the threads are sharp. Which means I'm about where I need to be. I know from experience I need to go just a little further. Probably two passes. Actually, that's probably enough right there. Always a good idea to talk, knock the tips off the threads like that. There we go. Good threads. Well, that about wraps it up. Uh, thanks for joining me, and be sure and subscribe.